Yo 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 what's up it's Rubib and it's time for another manga haul <laughs> Initially, I don't have a plan to record a manga haul for the month of December because the manga that I was expecting to arrive this month uh, was not yet ready for shipping. But um, that's okay since um, I uh, I went out yesterday and did a shopping spree. <laughs> and um, the first manga that I will be showing to you is Eureka 7. So I went to my friend's house yesterday and he gave this manga for free. Um, I don't have an idea on what is the story, but um, this is, I believe, based from a game. I I'm very familiar with the title, but um, not with the story. So the next one is um, The Solar Boy Django. I have the first uh, volume of this like 12 years ago, before uh, one week before I enter high school, I bought uh, Solar Boy uh, Django first volume because, you know, I want to try something new. I'm not a fan of you know reading that time but um i just thought that girls would like boys who reads but it turns out that they don't like me because i act weird <laughs> uh, i remember enjoying the first volume so i intend to collect i believe there are six volumes for this and the next one is Silver Spoon. Uh, this is from the creator of Full Metal Alchemist. The story is about this guy who is uh, from the city and applied to this uh, boarding school in a rural area because he wants to escape the busy world. But it turns out that that school is even more stressful. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this uh, manga. That's why I went out yesterday and bought the three succeeding volumes i got the first uh second volume two volume three and volume four <laughs> there is a uh, um a manga shop that i follow on instagram it's called manga with ph follow them they sell a uh, brand new and free love manga so uh what i have here is attack on tight uh volume 10 stress this is from the creator of Fushigi Yugi, which is, you know, a childhood anime. <laughs> the fifth volume of Food War. I really enjoyed the um, the manga, the first two volumes, and I intend to collect all of the uh, Food War. This is Attack on Titan, a uh, Filipino edition. This is Filipino translated, and I bought this for 24 pesos each. It's super cheap. <laughs> I'm currently reading the fourth volume. I don't have the uh, English uh, version of the uh, Takan Titan uh, Volume 4, but I tried to compare this to my English uh, volume and I really uh, admired the translation. The text is okay, the, um, the paper quality is, I mean, for me, it's good. <laughs> so, yeah, I have here volumes 2, Four, five, six, eight, uh, another volume 10, um, uh, volume 11, and then volume 12. I believe there are 14 Attack on Titan Filipino edition. I hope they will um, continue printing it, but um, I, don't, I don't think they have a plan to do that. <laughs> so uh, probably I will collect the 14 uh, Attack on Titan Filipino edition, then I will just follow up with the um, English volume from 15 onwards. And lastly, from my whole is the Filipino edition of Fairy Tale. I got um, volume 2, volume 3, volume 4, and volume 5. And what I love about this is the spine because they are similar with the um, English printed uh, manga. Same spine. But the problem is the title text here in the spine, volume 2 is bigger um, than uh, volume 3 to 5. So, um, yeah. And, you know, this is the spine of this one. The Filipino translated Attack on Titan is different from the spine of um, Kodansha comics. But um, that's okay. <laughs> so, I guess uh, this is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>